I'm running out of food. <laughs> Gonna have to eat wheat soon. I think we've got some carrots, actually, haven't I? Hey, guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Yeah, I do. We are back on another episode of Zonocraft here, Season 2. I love this boat dock. It's starting to look really, really cool. I'm really, really hating the animals, though. They keep trampling my wheat. I've just uh, harvested all. It's actually grown really quickly. Sometimes they grow super quick. I mean, look at this one. That one's like nearly fully grown. This one, not even grown at all. Oh, there you go. It just grew a tiny little bit. Very weird how some of them grow a lot faster than others. But they keep trampling it, so we need to uh, fence those in. We might do that this episode. I have, however, collected enough up while I was editing. I think I've got enough anyway. I've got a little bit more here just left over. But I'm hoping this is enough to do our our hay roof on our building here. Oh, yeah, I forgot you could make these directional. There we go. So, <laughs> I can't believe there's 10 gone already. And there's going to be 10 gone here as well. Oh, man. No, we might need a lot more. I thought, ah, nah, a, um, a stack? That'll be plenty enough. You don't need that many. I might be wrong. I might be very, very wrong. I want this one going this way, though. So, this is actually going to be a little bit trickier because we're going to have to actually get... Oops. Oh, I can get these back, though, can't I? Yeah. There we go. I'm actually going to have to put the... Um... Uh, logs all the way along it in order to get the wheat blocks to go the direction that we want. Oh, well, at least we'll be able to maybe see what it looks like. I don't think we've got quite enough this episode. Have I got any wood on me? I don't. I do have stone, though. Stone will do. I don't want to be able to see the wood from the inside. I'd like to be able to see the uh, the hay from the inside. This is where creative would be much easier. I am used to doing this, though, for roofs because of the Simpsons, because of the way that those... um. Uh, those, uh, what are they called? Slanted blocks, slope blocks work. We actually have to do this for every single um, house that we do on The Simpsons that has a, uh, a ceiling uh, like this. So it's not really too much problem. It is easier in survival, though, than here in creative. I will admit that. But at least now, well, now I've got at least a stone roof on uh, across so we can actually make our base in there. Uh, we don't need that many more. Maybe I've got enough with the wheat. I was trying to save this wheat. Ooh. Oh, man, I'm jumping about. Mm, I was trying to save this wheat for possibly food. You see? Oh, yeah. This sh stupid auto craft. <laughs> manual crafting. I love it. I'm only playing. I do like the manual crafting, really. Well, that gave us seven more. That's nowhere near enough, though, is it? Nowhere near enough. Whoops. Um, I'll place these on, though. Uh, uh, uh. Well, maybe... <laughs> maybe next episode it'll be complete. I, I was for sure. I was like 100% sure that that would have been enough. But at least, at least now we've got um, a roof over our head in here. Let's grab some fence posts for windows. I don't want to use glass. I think glass would look awful. I think fence posts are much uh, better. I'm actually going to leave a spot here because this would be like the, the window uh, that you would buy your ticket up for the ship. And I'm going to do the same over here. Yes, skeletons can shoot through it. But it's unlikely, isn't it? No mob can exactly walk through there. So we should be fine. Can I... Can you not access things through there? You can't, hey? I thought maybe you would be able to. Okay, no problem. Let's... um. At least move the crafting table in here. Oh, yeah, that's the dock. Okay, so, so much I want to do today. There is a bunch of things that need to be done, uh, but more so want uh, to do. I need to put a door on here for sure. Oh, shoot, the wood's outside. I want to put the doors on. We'll make this house secure. I'll move all of this stuff into the uh, house off camera because that's a, a full double chest worth of stuff, and I don't really fancy doing that on camera we get three out of this though for now i'm using oak we might upgrade this to a different wood type later on to get a, a better door but that'll do fine for now let's have a look from the boat i know that there's a roof the roof missing but that looks cool i like that and i think you know what i'll do is i think i'll overhang those over the edge as well so we need a few more like one would go on top of there 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 
there and there and the same on the other side and I guarantee you that will look one million times better one million no exaggeration one million times better all right let's get some more wood I want to do a little bit more of the dock today okay so we're gonna grab some of these and I might as well grab it all in fact I'm not gonna die I'm sure I'm not gonna die left <laughs> famous last words huh all right so I want the dock to come out this side. we've got a nice bit of blue water here for smaller boats and I wanted it to come off here so we done uh four blocks wide for the main bit wasn't it and then it three blocks wide oh no is it four blocks wide all the way around it is yeah four blocks wide all of for all the dock bits and then that's a little bit wider because of the house yeah okay cool i got it fresh in my memory again it's been a little while since last episode cow hello thank you i thought for a minute i couldn't kill anything I wonder if it was that auto save that threw it off then. So I just need this little bit of dock to come out just a little way. And then I want to wrap it around that way, 90 degrees. And then once we've got the boat more complete, we'll then think about adding more dock to it. And maybe even some more boats. I'm thinking smaller boats. I'm not thinking anything anything crazy big, but maybe some, some other ones. These animals, man. These are like my dogs. Oh, yeah, thanks, pig. My dogs are the same. They just always, always, always want to be in your face. <laughs> They're like, please cuddle me. I want to be cuddled. And you're like, no, I'm working. I'm working. Go away. I'm eating. Go away. But I want to be cuddled. I'm eating. Stop it. <laughs> That's what the animals here are like. No matter where you are, go and get in the water. Go and have a swim. No matter where you are, animals will find you. Look! Go on! Off you go. Give me give me some space. I know I know that you want to be um crew on our ship. I know, you've told me. I get out of here. I know that they want to be the crew. But you've got to apply first. <laughs> we can't just give you crew status. You need to work for it. You need to prove that you're you should be on the ship. I don't even care if you die. There's enough cows here. I don't need any more cows. I might need those cows. There's two in there, in fact. I might have been silly to uh to kill them. But oh well. Oh wow, this is so deep. This is so many logs that really sh <laughs> we shouldn't need to use. To be honest, I hate it when people use like stone or whatever under the water here to to save on logs it's like come on that's not realistic we're trying to trying to get a really cool looking boat dock here don't cheat don't cut corners we're nearly there please say i've done this right i'd hate it for it to be one block off there we go perfect and then just oh one here and then two on the other corner isn't it there and here okay the next step might that's so deep the next step might require us to cut away because I need to get rid of all the water in the boat. Now, we don't need to do it now, uh, but I always like to uh, to get ahead. If we do it now, we don't need to do it later, do we? And I've got a little bit of spare time today, so, so why not do it now? Uh, but that does require cutting away. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it first. Oh, whoa, don't fall. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it first, and then I shall cut away and do the rest of it uh, off camera. Okay, perfect. So there's a nice low dock here. I really like the feel of this dock. Very, very nice. I done a lot, I picked up a load of sand off an island over that way. I've also got a mine going here. I've got some iron that should be cooking. Maybe it's done now. It is wonderful. I've got a little mine that I dug in here. Okay, so that goes down. That actually goes down to diamond level. But oops, I haven't found any yet though, unfortunately. Uh, but what we're going to do is put some of this wood back. Grab as much sand as you can, because it's going to make things easier. Grab some torches, because that's going to make things easier as well. And then what you're going to do, I find sand better than any other block. Sand or gravel, because it's got gravity on it. We spoke about this a uh, couple of episodes, maybe a few episodes ago now, of how to get rid of the water on the inside. But the way you're going to do it, is you're just going to fill it with sand, 
and then use torches to get rid of it afterwards. Now, the reason why I like sand instead of dirt is at the moment I'm placing it as if we had dirt. But instead of going into the water, you can just do that. And it'll just drop it down and fill it up by hand. It, like it, it's, it's absolutely great for that. So uh, I'm going to do this all the way around, then remove all the torches. I think I've got enough sand to fill up this, the interior of this boat, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, and then we'll have a nice clean hull, which we can easily build off later on. So I shall be right back. All right, and here comes the fun part. I done half of it. I didn't have enough sand. Believe it or not, I didn't have enough sand to do the whole lot. So I had to do it in two halves. But I, <laughs> I so enjoyed doing this off camera last time. The shovel's so great that you can just you just mash through this sand. I found it quicker than doing it with torches. You could do it with torches if you don't have a, a shovel as, as quick as this. You do it like that. And when you've got uh, when it's nice and deep down to the bottom here, it just takes out the whole layer. It's an old Minecraft trick. I'm sure you've all heard of that. If you haven't, where have you been? Uh, because it is a very, very fast way to get rid of uh, sand and gravel and stuff like that. You could use torches. You can use slabs. Uh, you can use pressure plates. Uh, anything that isn't like uh, a full block, uh, pretty much, I think. I don't think it works with stairs, though. I might be wrong, but I don't think it works with stairs because there's still a hitbox at the top half of redstone torches, all that kind of thing. Works absolutely fine. We remove all this, and what we've managed to do is create a mob trap accidentally. At night time, this whole boat hull, I can imagine right now, is going to be full with the evilest and nastiest mobs that you will ever see in your entire life. But maybe we leave it like that. Maybe we make the uh, the bottom floor here, the hull of the boat, into a mob trap. It could look cool. It could be great. It could be quite effective as there's a lot of water around us. And if we especially light up the island that our dock is connected to, then no mobs can spawn in there. I haven't found any caves in the mine that I made. It's just a strip mine at the moment, which I hate doing. Uh, but if I find any caves and we light those up, it makes it even more effective. And then if we light up any caves that are, that are nearby uh, and any other islands that are nearby, it could be one of the most potent mob traps that I would have ever made in Minecraft potentially could be because it's at it's um in the ocean and if nothing can if nothing can spawn there then they have to spawn here but look at that what a cool boat uh, hull here now we've got two options that we can do next uh, we can either fill in the top layer here with I'll probably use slabs to keep uh, the wood a little bit lighter. You know, it uses less. You can get away with it's a triple, basically, uh, triple the amount of slabs for for blocks. We could do the whole lot here for minimum resources, or we decorate up what hull we've got so far with cannons and a red strip. I still want a red strip. Talking of that, let's try and capture some cow, uh, some sheep, not cows. Uh, well, all of them eventually, I suppose. But if I can capture some cows, I will be able to... Uh, get out of here. I'll be able to... Oh, sheep. Did I say cows again? I'll be able to breed them up and be able to get a bit of a red wool farm going for our uh, for our boat. The only trouble is... Hey there. Uh, oh, I've got fences. The only trouble is, is that I think I've got a wolf on this island. And it's making it incredibly, incredibly difficult for sheep to spawn because as soon as they do, they just... As soon as they do, uh, they just get eaten by the wolf. Come on. Come on. This way I saw a red flower there. That's going to be perfect for the red wool. And... <laughs> Come on. All right, so there's... At least a sheep pen that is safe. That sheep shouldn't die. Now, do I have another one on or nearby? On this island or on a nearby island? I'm surprised. Eh, no, that's the wolf. I might have him when I get a... Um... Oh, it's two there, hey? When I get the uh, um, skeleton spawn, which I haven't yet because I keep sleeping away the night, I will happily have a few dogs around here. That could look really good at the dock. Uh, I think a whole farm here would look good. Chicken, pig, cow, and sheep uh, could look phenomenally cool 
uh, on this island here. I don't think there's another one. There was a grey one on here earlier when I started off the episode. But seems to me that um, that uh, he died, that he got eaten. Now that oh, it's a cow. There were a few on that island over there I saw, or well, that bit of land, chicken egg. Uh, but I don't think we can do that. Uh, but yeah, let's think before we end off the episode. Let's think about how we want the rest of this island to be laid out. Um, because at the moment we've got the dock and our hut that we're going to be using as our as our base here. But also doubles up as the uh, I like the fences, but also doubles up as the uh, the the dock. What would you call it? The dock shop sounds amazing. Um, but you you know what I mean, like the way you get tickets for the pirate ship and stuff like that. Uh, I think a little marketplace would be good here on this island. I might level the entire island. You know, I might cut down all of these trees. It wouldn't take me long at all to completely level the whole thing. And then it would give us a nice flat area that we could build a market on. We could have the farms for the animals. Trading and stuff like that, you know, for the animals. And, you know, I think it would look really, really cool to have all of the farms here. Um, I think I might also make it pretty much entirely sand. No. No, I might do the outside sand and then the inside grass. Um... Let me know what you think, guys, in the comment section below about that idea, about what material. I think both. I think sand around the edge, like a beached sand air, like, like you know, sand like it's a giant beach all the way around the island, um, which will require us to do a little bit of work because a lot of this area is, uh, is dirt and grass. But if we made, like, the first two layers sand and then made the rest of it grass, it could look really, really cool. A really nice looking island. Obviously, I don't want to completely level, though, because if we have a complete level, it would look very boring and dull. Uh, but maybe with one or two sort of higher points, it could look pretty good. But yeah, I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I've got a lot to do off camera. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to level the entirety of this place off camera. Uh, I'm also going to have to get some diamonds to repair this shovel with. Because I've got a feeling that it's not going to make the entire island. It's a really good shovel, and I don't want to lose it. Silk Touch, Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3. Uh, if I can repair it with some diamonds, I'll be very, very happy. And now that we've got our own mob trap, it shouldn't be that hard for me to get levels off camera either. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode, where hopefully I'll get enough done so we can start the farms, maybe. Because uh, we are getting a little bit low on food. Alright guys, bye!